looking at a double reduction two speed differential what we can see is the input right here as I can turn it you see everything rotating we see it comes into a pinion the pinion makes contact with the bevel gear the bevel gear is on a cross shaft and that cross shaft has two drive helical gears here one's an orange helical gear right here driving this orange driven gear and the blue drive gear driving the blue driven gear and so what we can see is the blue drive gear is smaller than the orange drive gear and the blue driven gear is larger than the orange driven gear so what we can see is the blue is first speed or the lowest speed and orange is the high speed or the second speed of this differential and so the path of power in here becomes a little bit different in the fact that we go pinion to bevel gear the bevel gear drives this cross shaft and the cross shaft in itself floats inside the drive gears and what locks the two together is actually this center shift fork moves a sliding collar and a sliding clutch to lock a collar that's on the cross shaft to the dog teeth that's on the individual gears themselves and so that's how we put it into gear as the air from the uh, diaphragm moves the fork it's able to select either low where it is right now or move forward and it would go into high then we would see the path of power being the pinion to bevel gear bevel gear to cross shaft cross shaft to clutch the sliding clutch then locks either the high or the low drive gear then those drive gears drive the driven gears back here and then what we can see between the driven gears is actually the differential case right here and inside the differential case we will see and we'll rotate it so that we can see one of the cross shafts the end of a cross shaft right there and that's going to support the differential pinion gears inside here and then the axle side gears that are going to be tucked inside the case and we are, see our axles will mount in from through the side hole here and we once again have the adjusting cap for us to be able to move this differential and the reason why we'd be able to do that is not to move any play or pattern down on this cross shaft but simply to be able to put the taper roller bearings that are supporting our differential case under a proper preload and so then we'd see an, an, another adjustment and that's actually achieved through a shim pack right here that we're able to move the cross shaft and it's this shim kit that's on the side right here so we'll just sort of move this over this shim kit that's right here is actually what's moving the cross shaft and as it moves the cross shaft it moves the crown gear in and out so that will change your heel and toe pattern from your pinion to bevel gear or your backlash and then it's the front removable bearing cage up here and the shim pack that's right here that's actually going to move your pinion depth so once again you're still able to set face and flank and you're still able to set your heel and toe and so you would still check your pattern between your pinion and your bevel gear